In this mini project, we are going to make a waterproof 10 minute timer. Let's get started. We are going to need 3 2.2 kilo ohm resistors, 3 3 mm LEDs, latching push button DPDT switch, DP8 IC socket, 80x85V IC, CR2032 button cell, and CR2032 button cell holder. We will need silicon sealant, soldering iron, soldering wire, general purpose circuit board, and some plastic bags and plastic cups. We will use 80x85V and not conventional 80x85 as controller in this mini project. As it can operate up to 1.8V, its frequency of operation will be slower but that's ok. Arduino IDE does not have support to program 80x85V by default. You can add 80x85V as one of the board using this guide, I'll put up a link in the description. Once you are done with that, set programmer to Arduino as ISP, select your board and its frequency and burn the bootloader. Now as a test, edit the blinky code and change pin number from 13 to 0 and burn that code. And you should see LED blink at pin number 5 of 8985V. Circuit is pretty straightforward. This is breadboard view of the circuit. 8985V is powered by a 3 volt CR2032 button cell connected through a switch. Three LEDs are connected to pin number 5, 6 and 7 of 8985V through three 2.2 kilo ohm resistors pin 5 6 and 7 maps to arduino gpio 0 1 and 2 and on the right we have schematic view of the circuit code is pretty straightforward as well we declare a count variable set three pins in output mode set them low put delay of two minutes as we plan to count 10 minutes using only three leds in loop function we wait for every one minute increment the count and then update the status of LEDs using set underscore LEDs function which uses bitwise and operation to update the status of LEDs. You can download this code from github, link will be in the description. Once coding was finished, I started assembling circuit on a general purpose circuit board using soldering iron and soldering wire. I used DP8 IC mount for 8985V and CR2032 battery holder for CR2032 button cell. Once PCB assembly was finished, I tested the circuit for its operation and thankfully it worked fine. Now it was time to make it waterproof. We will take out silicon sealant for waterproofing in a bottom of a bottle. But before doing that, we need to put a brand new coin cell in our timer. Now take out some silicon sealant in bottle cup. Mix it up get the timer and dip it in the sealant. Spread sealant all over the timer, top, bottom, make sure that you don't miss any spot. Take it out in a plastic polythene bag and spread the sealant evenly all over the timer using your fingers. I left this package as it is overnight and morning I removed the plastic cover. Trimmed its edges using scissor and finally it was testing time. Pour some water and dip the timer in it and after 3 minutes LED lit up. So there you have a waterproof 10 minute timer. That's all for this video and if you liked it consider subscribing to this channel and as always thanks for watching.